The Padma Purana Sanskrit, Padma Purana is one of the 18 major Puranas, a genre of texts in Dharmic religions. It is an encyclopedic text, named after the lotus in which creator god Brahma appeared, and includes large sections dedicated to Vishnu, as well significant sections on Shiva and Shakti. The manuscripts of Padma Purana have survived into the modern era in numerous versions, of which two are major and significantly different, one traced to eastern and the other to western regions of India. It is one of the voluminous texts, claiming to have 55,000 verses, with the actual surviving manuscripts showing about 50,000. The style of composition and textual arrangement suggest that it is likely a compilation of different parts written in different era by different authors. The text includes sections on cosmology, mythology, genealogy, geography, rivers and seasons, temples and pilgrimage to numerous sites in India, notably to the Brahma temple in Pushkar Rajasthan, versions of story of Rama and Sita different than one found in Valmiki's Ramayana, festivals, glorification mainly of Vishnu but also in parts of Shiva and their worship, discussions on ethics and guest hospitality, yoga, theosophical discussion on Atman soul, Advaita, Moksha and other topics, there is Purana style, but entirely different Jainism text that is also known as Padma Purana and includes a Jain version of the Ramayana. History The Padma Purana, like other Puranas, exists in numerous versions. One major recension, traced to Bengal region, has five khandas parts, books, and an appendix, but has neither been published nor translated. The second major different recension, traced to western region of India, has six khandas, is the adopted and oft-studied version since the colonial British India era. The Bengal edition is older. The Bengal edition is notable in that the 39 chapters on Dharma Sastra are missing from the Sristikanda book. In all versions of its manuscripts, the composition date of Padma Purana is unknown. Estimated vary between the 4th and 15th century CE. Some parts of the text may be from the 750 to 1000 CE period. The extant manuscripts and ones widely studied, states Wilson, is very likely to have been written or revised well after the 14th century, probably in the 15th or 16th century, because it describes later era major temple sites of South India and sites in the Vijayanagara Empire. No portion of the versions of the Padma Purana available in the 19th century, wrote Wilson, is probably older than the 12th century." Asok Chatterjee, in 1963, suggested that the text may have existed between the 3rd and 4th century CE, but the text was rewritten and greatly expanded over the centuries and through the second half of the 17th century. Rocher states that the composition's date of each Purana remains a contested issue. Dimit and Van Butenen state that each of the Purana's manuscripts is encyclopedic in style, and it is difficult to ascertain when, where, why and by whom these were written. As they exist today, the Puranas are a stratified literature. Each titled work consists of material that has grown by numerous accretions in successive historical eras. Thus no Purana has a single date of composition. It is as if they were libraries to which new volumes have been continuously added, not necessarily at the end of the shelf, but randomly. The Padma Purana categorizes itself as a Sattva Purana one which represents goodness and purity. Topic. Contents Like all Puranas, it is discoursed by Sutta to sage Sanaka and other sages in the Naimisha forest. The Purana is essentially a dialogue between Bhishma and sage Palastya. Bhishma was performing austerities for a hundred years. Pleased with him, Lord Brahma sent his son Palastya to bless Bhishma. To fulfill his boon, Palastya recounts the Padma Purana to Bhishma. This text exists in two different versions recensions, the Bengal and the West Indian. The Bengal recension consists of five khandas sections, Shrishti Khanda, Bhumi Khanda, Svarga Khanda, Patala Khanda and Atara Khanda. The latter recension consists of six khandas, Adi Khanda also known as the Svarga Khanda in some printed editions, Bhumi Khanda, Brahma Khanda, Patala Khanda, Srishti Khanda and Atara Khanda. The Bhumi Khanda of the Bengal recension contains additional 13 chapters, while the Patala Khanda of this recension contains 31 additional chapters. 
The Srishti Khanda can be divided into two parts, and the second part is not found in the Bengal recension. The first 18 chapters of the first part Khanda of the text is notable for its description of Lake Pushkar, near Ajmer in Rajasthan, as a Brahma pilgrimage site, followed by chapters with Vishnu oriented presentation. The second part of the text is called Bhumakanda, and is largely a book of legends woven into a pilgrimage guide. The third part of the text, called Svargakanda, presents cosmology, geography of India, its rivers, and description of places. The fourth part of the text, called Brahmakanda, glorifies Vishnu, discusses seasons, festivals such as one dedicated to goddess Radha, rituals, and Tulasi plant. The fifth part of the text, called Patalakanda, presents Rama as an avatar of Vishnu, Sita as an avatar of Lakshmi, and presents a version of their story that is different than one found in the Valmiki's Ramayana. The fifth part also includes chapters where Shiva and Parvati discuss the character of Krishna, as well as significant collection of chapters which glorify Shiva. The last part, called Uttarakanda, contains legends and mythology associated with Indian festivals, 18 chapters called as Gita Mahatmya, followed by chapters of Bhagavata Mahatmya and Shiva Gita, discussion of soul and liberation, quotes from the Upanishads, Yoga and the Advaita Vedanta doctrines. The text, in some versions of the manuscripts, ends with Kriya Yogasara which is a discussion of ethics and hospitality to guests. Other texts with same title Several Purana-like texts of other Indian religions such as Jainism and Buddhism are also known as Padma Purana. These include the Padma Purana also called Padma Karitam by the 7th century Ravasena of the Digambara tradition of Jainism, written in Sanskrit. Other texts with same name include those by Balabhadrapurana or Radu 15th century, the Padma Purana of Samadeva 1600, the Padma Purana of Dharmakirti 1612, the Padma Purana of Bhattaraka Kandrakirti c. 17th century, and two undated texts by Kandrasagara and by Srikhandra. These belong to the Apabramsa genre of Indian literature. References Bibliography Gregory Bailey Arvind Sharma, ed. The Study of Hinduism. University of South Carolina Press. ISBN 978-1-57003-449-7. Dimit, Cornelia, Van Butenen, J. A. B. Classical Hindu Mythology, A Reader in the Sanskrit Puranas. Temple University Press 1st edition, 1977. ISBN 978 one 4399 0 Doniger, Wendy 2010, The Hindus, An Alternative History, Oxford University Press Dalal, Rosen 2014. Hinduism, An Alphabetical Guide. Penguin. ISBN 978-8184752779. K. P. Geetz, et al., 1992. Epic and Puranic Bibliography up to 1985 A Note with Indexes, Part 1, A, R, Part 2, S, Z, Indexes. Otto Harrisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-03028-1. Roche, Ludo The Puranas. Otto Harrisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3447025225. Vanita, Ruth Love's Right. Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-1-4039-8160-8. Wilson, H. H. Piranhas. ISBN 1-84664-664-2. External links Ethics and Sociology of Politics in Some of the Puranas V. R. Varma The Indian Journal of Political Science discusses Padma Purana Essays on the Puranas 2 H. H. Wilson 1839, The Journal of the Royal Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland discusses pilgrimage in Padma Purana.